Hi, today we're in Anza Brego Desert State Park of Southern California. This place is called Blair Valley. Just beautiful. This is April 2nd. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous day. It's a big campsite, campground. Nobody's here. Here's our campsite. It's perfectly nestled up among the boulders here. These boulders, this little cliff is just covered with California barrel cacti. We got one here, right in the middle. So we're gonna run up there, and take a look at this guy, growing on the side of the hill. And I'll tell you all about him. California barrel cacti. So here's our campsite way down here. You zoom back. It's a beautiful valley, Blair Valley. And here's our California barrel cactus. Look how big he is. Wow, he's got a little sister right here, right next to him. So this guy here is Ferrocactus cylindriceus. He's also called a compass barrel cactus because he always leans here to the southwest. So if you ever stuck up here in the desert, you don't know where to go, I'll just look for these barrel cacti and they'll point you to the right direction. So he's a cylindrical, solitary, stout, barrel-shaped, perennial, succulent cactus. He grows up to eight feet high and he's covered with both long spines and short spines inside there. And he likes to grow in the deserts, the chaparral, rocky locations, these canyon walls, all up and down here, tons of barrel cacti. Wow, all over the place. You find him out in Mojave, Sonoran Deserts, California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona. He's the most widespread of all the giant barrel cacti. So his, a single unbranched plant, he grows very slowly. And the young plants like this guy, they're more spherical and they're sh kind of short and wide. And they tend to have more reddish spines here. But after a few decades, these guys are slow growers, right? They get more of a green stem. See how green this guy is? He's got 18 to 31 ribs which run from bottom to top, or top to bottom. So the ribs run this way. See that, like here's a rib, another rib. They don't run this way. They run up and down. And along these ribs, you have these spines, of course. And they tend to grow faster on the shady side, this side, than on the sunny side over here. And that makes them lean to the southwest. If you happen to buy these at your nursery, and you plant them, you always make sure you orient it the same exact way the nursery grew it, otherwise it's gonna get sunburned on this side, which is a shady side, and your plant will uh, not make it as well as if you planted them with the right orientation, right? So he's covered head to, head to toe in spines all the way, and they vary in color, the spines do. Some are deep red, some are a little whitish, yellow. Some are a little striped, right? Purple, yellow, purple, cream. And some have this little mixture of colors. And they're characterized by three types of spines. So first of all, the main one you see here, this is a long central spine. He gets about five inches long. And he points outward. And then he curves a little bit. See a little curving right there? And this guy kind of curves a little bit. And he curves uh, out and down toward the tip. But he's not hooked. Not enough to be hooked. And uh, right inside the aerial, there's like groups of four or seven of these long guys per aerial. Right? And close by, he's got three more shorter radial spines. And they uh, point outward. But way inside, He's got about 28 super small, almost hair-like, lighter colored spines in clusters of like 25 little spines in there. And this all contributes to this giant lattice of spines that just covers this whole succulent. Look at that. Wow. So the large spines, they fend off the predators, keep them from getting to the nice nutrients and water inside this guy. And the smaller spines, they help shade it, 
help protect against heat and water loss. And the flowers, way up here, check this out. This guy's starting to flower. Flowers from May to June. This is April, so we got them a little bit early. And there's single flowers here near the top of the stems. And they form a ring around the sunny side of our barrel cactus here. And they're funnel shaped, they're leathery, and they're fleshy. Sometimes they're little greenish tints. Sometimes they have a little red mid stripe. So these guys here are just, just coming out. See that? Open it up there, you got all the stamen, kind of yellow anthers in there. Wow. And they got this funnel shape so the pollinators can get in there real easily. So it'll produce uh, seeds called berries that are fleshy, bright yellow, they turn brown, then they're black. And the flowers here are edible. You can uh, pick them off and eat them. Sometimes people just eat them raw. These beautiful flowers, look at that. Little anther, stamen, pollen inside, and all the female reproductive parts as well. And then the seeds are also edible. You can grind them up and cook them. Wow, let me take a step back without falling off our cliff here. All right, let's see if I can do this. Here's our, so here's our little guy, right? I told him he's a little more reddish, but he also flowers here. I say he's little, he's still two feet tall. This guy here is probably a total of five and a half feet tall. Uh, grown up here all along. This rocky hillsides, we had some way down here too. All right, California barrel cactus. Anyway, here we go. It's a beautiful specimen. Totally leaning like you'd expect to the southwest. California barrel cactus. Barrel cactus, cylindraceus, way out here in Anza Brego, Blair Valley campground. Unbelievable. Okay, thanks for watching my video. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe, share, all the rest. I got lots more plants and hiking trails and animals and lizards and birds, butterflies up here in our beautiful Anza Brego desert here in Southern California. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.